Welcome back to our Neo Protocol Smart Contract series. Today we are learning about if else statement, one of the most important tools for making decisions in your smart contract. We will cover what they are, how to use conditions, and how to combine multiple to condition together. If else statements let your smart contracts make decisions. Think of them like asking questions. If this is true, do this. Otherwise, do that. Every if statement checks a condition, something that can be either true or false. Let's write an example. Mu it will be mutable. We'll change our struct. Let it be number. And so let's write u64. And if we write the variable, in our case number, condition, let's be more or less or more or equal and another variable that we compare let be 1000 and if it's more than 1000 or equal so out tier oops it should be dot will be diamond for example and we need to convert it to string if this number less than 1000 so we need to write our tier will be bronze. This checks if number is 1000 or more, so give it tier diamond, otherwise keep it bronze. To create other condition we use these comparison operations. If you want that, for example, number should be strictly equal, so we write double equal, this means that checks if two values are different. This checks if left value is bigger than the right value. This opposite. This that we used before, it checks if left value is bigger than or equal to right value. And this if right value is bigger or equal to left value. Sometimes you need to check several different conditions. So for this we need to use else if. Let's write an example. Let's do like this. Else if number. Oops, let's return it that it's more or equal one thousand. If it's less than 1000, we check if it's more than 500. If it's true, so our tier will be, let's be gold. If it's not more than 500, so let's check if it's more than 100 or equal 100. So for this, our tier will be silver. Need to mention that only the first matching conditions runs. Once first condition, one condition is true, the rest are skipped. So here, for example, if I have like 1500, Everywhere it will be true. However, our tier will be all in diamond because first conditions in these checks, so our tier is diamond. If it will be 700, it will be gold. If 200, silver. If it's less than 100, it will be bronze. Let's talk about compound conditions. You can combine multiple conditions using logical operation. Let's write an example about this. For this, we'll create another function. It will be let be validate transaction. Так. Let's be mutable self. Let's be right days. U64. And let's write number also. U64. So if, for example, days more than or equal minimum days from our struct oh sorry here struct 
and at the same time number is more equal let's be the same 1000 so we just do some operations let's be just self counter plus one let's break this down and operator double ampersand both conditions must be true days must be more than minimum days or equal and number also must be more than or equal 1000 here another operator is or so here at least one condition must be true or days should be more than minimum days or number should be more or equal 1000 so at least one condition must be true days can be more or minimum days or number more or equal 1000 so that means for example our number is 1500 so it's true so days can be less than minimum days so it will be true and our counter will be plus one and opposite for example our number is less than 1000 and days are more than minimum days so also our counter can will be plus one or both can be true and our counter also will do plus one in addition we can combine our operators so for example let's be our number should be more than 1000 and in the same time it should be less than 1500 so that means that or days should be more than minimum days or number should be between 1000 and 1500 before we go to interact with the smart contract um, i forgot to write the return value so we need to write here a string because we'll return self tier self tier and don't forget dot clone i have already deployed the smart contracts so let's open the terminal so let's interact with our smart contract let's write near contract call function as transaction because we have mutable self in set taken tier i want to call this function just on args here we'll write one variable because in set taken tier we have one variable is number so let's write number and let it be 700 as you can see here we got our result gold because it's less than 1000 but more than 500 that's if else statements in near smart contracts we learn how to make decisions with if else use comparison operators like double equal or more than equal uh, chain multiple condition with else if and combine condition with double upper sound and or these tools let your smart contracts respond intelligently to different situations want to become a near smart contract expert smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for instant notification Here's your coding challenge. Create a simple contract that uses all three types of conditions we cover today. Basic if else, else if chains and compound conditions. Share your code snippet in the comments and let's see your creativity in action.